you're getting an early taste of NBA 2K23. What do you think of the game thus far? I'm just happy to be able to play the game. Uh, it's a dope experience. I'm so happy to be here. The first time we talked to you was in 2019. You were just drafted. You were in the game for the first time. How has your life changed? 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Welcome everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. We'll see the Seattle Supersonics and the Chicago Bulls. So Seattle will get the first. Possession here. Now the starting group for the visitors. Back to Payton. Rebounded by Pippen. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Inside. Here's Jordan. Here's Longley. Covered by Johnson. From deep, Jordan. He buries it from three. Coming out swinging and hitting the game's first bucket. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Hawkins can't get it to go. Here's Pippen. To the middle. Pass to Rodman. There's the three, and it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock to the paint. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. And so here is Chicago. Pass to Rodman. Deflects the pass. In transition. Left side, Peyton. Chicago foul. Ron Harper. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Kemp. Here's Hawkins. Now here's Peyton. Shot clock at six. Fires in the triple. Peyton's got five. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Peyton's gone two for three from the field. Out to the right wing. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Rodman's shot is good. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, Ron, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Peyton. He's covered closely. It's tipped. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. I think we can say that shot is well within his range. Yeah, let's hope so. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here at the first. And he comes up with a bucket. Jordan's gotten his second bucket of the game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Gary Payton. 
Chicago trailing here. Jordan with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Pass to Pippen. From deep. Doesn't go that time. The Supersonics go the other way with it. Here's Peyton. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Nine points in the game. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Here's Harper. Takes it inside. Here's Rodman. Tipped. Here's Shrimp. Covered by Jordan. Some solid defense from Jordan. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. Bulls ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Both teams team. deciding to change it up. minutes play and slam dunk by Jordan now that's how you capitalize on a screen yeah good positioning too gave him a clear path to the hoop really not enough help their lack of communication on the backside and it's the supersonics with the ball following the bucket by the Bulls Blocked. and that's out of bounds Seattle will retain possession Substitution for the away team, Frank Rakowski, Vincent Askew, Nate McMillan. One fifty-seven left in the opening quarter. Sam Perkins. And so here is Chicago, trailing by four. Here's Kerr. Pass to Kukoc. Into the lane. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Here's McMillan. To the right side. Here's Hawkins. Off the mark there with a three. Now here's Jordan. Not a lot of room. Here's Kerr. They get the rebound. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Willington. Here's Pippen. From deep, Jordan. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. Here's McMillan. Here's Brakowski. 50 seconds left to play in the first. Shots good by Kukoc. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Hawkins, covered by Jordan. On the take. Full foul. Michael Jordan. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Pass to Brikowski. Second chance effort. It's hauled in by Winnington. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Pippen. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. David Wingate. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Chicago. Scotty Pippen. One shot. One shot.
Here's Wingate. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's McMillan. Pass to Perkins to end the run. No good that time. And that concludes a back-and-forth, high-scoring first quarter of play. Bulls out in front. They lead by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. been a pretty even game through the first quarter and before we move on what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight yeah showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage they control the boards in the first well if you get physical out there you can control the glass and that helps you to control the pace of the game so on the floor for Seattle here's Pippen pass to Bushler from deep Simpkins' shot is off. Seattle trails. From the arc. Gets the three ball to go. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Here's Pippen. Down low. Oh, got a piece of it. To the inside. Pass to Kukoc. And they get it back. Here's Simpkins. The three ball. The Bulls with another miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Wingate with the drive. Offensive rebound. Here's Brakowski. Misses from short range. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Vincent Askew. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the away team. Get it to drop. The Supersonics go the other way with it. Here's Wingate. Looking for his first basket still in this one. He can't get it to go. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. A beautiful setup on the alley oop. A great catch, great flush. Gary Payton. And here are the Bulls now. To the middle. Here's Longley. Not going to go that time. Johnson with the defensive effort. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Pass to Payton. High arcing shot. Longley with a rebound. Chicago with the ball. Here's Kerr. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Outside Johnson. Here's Wingate. Here's Kemp. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Chicago trailing here. Here's Harper. Drives to the hoop. 
And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal foul. Had he played a stop that Second easy layup team. right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. At the line for and guys, what do you think about the hustle Ron stats Harper. for the Super Sonics? The they set the two. first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting defenders on their Take heels. A break. Take a break. And maybe a signal two as shot. well of how aggressive their defense has been tonight is to look at how many points they have directly off of a turnover. Good activity there. First one falls for him. The Bulls making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. And that's good as he hits both shots. minutes of action thus far on the second. Here's Peyton. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead and now he's helped them keep it. Pass to Jordan. Fades away. Ron Harper. That's his second personal foul. Checking into the lineup for your Bulls, Bill Wellington. The Supersonics with a lead. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside Peyton. Inside. Johnson with a bucket. Johnson. Johnson's got his second basket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Tipped away. Oh, stolen by Peyton. The teardrop. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. His curve. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And they'll keep possession. Two minutes remaining. Here's Harper, guarded by Peyton. Pass to Jordan. Just five on the clock. And no good. The Supersonics go the other way with it. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Substitution for the away team. One forty-six left in the second. one and he lays it up and in Jordan's got nine always fun to look at not tremendously efficient but the floater boy those sure are pretty outside Peyton oh he picked him clean down low here's Jordan and he was fouled in the act of shooting opportunity for a three-point play here they're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Team foul. At the line for Chicago, Michael Jordan. Shooting one. One shot. That one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Here's Seattle. A minute four left to play in the first half. Here's McMillan. A rebound by Kukoc. From 12 feet, Jordan misses. Here's Hawkins. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Kemp. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Coming on 
of the floor for the away team, Frank Krakowski. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jordan. Here's Harper. Clock at six. No good on the triple. Launches a three. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Bulls up one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now, holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Chicago leading. Pass to Longley. Here's Harper, guarded by Peyton. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And for the Supersonics. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. Pippen, no good. Here's Hawkins, covered by Jordan. Pass to Peyton. Here's Kemp. Six on the shot clock. And that misses. That would have put him up. Here's Jordan. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Seattle trails. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Harper. Back to Jordan. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Outside Peyton. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. It's a neck and neck game in Chicago. Here's Pippen. Driving to the basket. Here's Harper. Kemp with a rebound. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Here's Shrimp. For the lead. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul.
the line for the away team. Detlef Schwemm. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one drops. He ties it up. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Rodman. To the paint. Here's Jordan. No good off the glass. Here's Wingate. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Chicago grabs the miss. Here's Kerr. Shot is up. Kept alive. Rodman. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here's Wingate. Covered by Jordan. Chicago foul. Michael. So both teams changing it up here. Personal foul. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for the away team. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Here's Kukoc. It's rebounded by Askew. Inside. Here's McMillan. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Five points in the game. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Chicago trailing here. Here's Pippen. Pass to Rodman. Two minutes. Here's Kukoc. Six to shoot. Oh, they need this. Here's Wellington. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Here's Askew. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Outside Payton. And it's Chicago with a board. 121 left in the third quarter. Here's Pippen. Driving inside, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. His hang time on the rim. It's a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Bulls. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Two-point game. Outside Payton. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. 58 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Pippen. 
Six on the shot clock. Free throw line jumper. Here's Kerr, guarded by Peyton. Pass to Kukoc. Fires the three. And McMillan pulls it down. Here's Askew. Outside Peyton. From outside the arc. It doesn't go for him. That's the end of the third, and it's tied up. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Here's McMillan. Pass to Hawkins. And he throws it down with one hand. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. And for the Supersonics... Here's Harper. No luck on that one. Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Here's Jordan. Pass to Harper. Here's Pippen. Here's Longley. Kemp with a rebound. The Supersonics with a lead. To the inside. Here's Hawkins. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Supersonics. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. And something else that's sticking out tonight is their assist total. High percentage of their baskets have been the product of good, crisp ball movement. A good sign for an offense. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. Five on the clock. That's tipped. Gets stolen by Johnson. Here's the break. Here's McMillan. Another shot. And there's the rejection. And he recovers it. Clock at six. Pass to Shrimp. The three. They grab their own miss. And the whistle blows. He's fouled on a shot that misses. Not by much. Two free throws for him now. Second team foul. 
shooting for the away team, Sean Kemp, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. one goes in two from the line that time yeah they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half pass to Jordan and slam dunk by Jordan making sure of it with the two hand slam BA yeah I don't blame him with the score this tight you cannot take a chance here here's McMillan here's shrimp Banks in the layup. Shrimp. The assist. Nate McMillan. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. And now a timeout called by Chicago. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge right, during a short break like this. And make some noise for T-shirt time. Line. Let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with his team. Point blank, he wants better shot selection. He told them, we're settling guys. Come on. We're not being patient out there. We're not working the ball around. That has to change right now. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And the line for your ball, Luke Longley. Two shots. And he makes a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Hawkins, covered by Jordan. Here's Peyton. He can't hit that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now here's Jordan. And a nice finish on the layup. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Peyton finds Johnson. Here's Hawkins. The three is up. The shot off that time. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Harper, guarded by Peyton. Knocked away. Pass to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Here's Pippen, and he drives in. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Here's Shrimp. Peyton with it. Oh, a rip-rattling two-handed jam! Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, we can settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And the Bulls making a change here.
When it's this close, he's exactly who they want at the strike. Chicago trailing here. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 156 left in the fourth. Here's Jordan. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Bulls, Michael Jordan. Taking two shots. the first one and that shrinks the margin to just four and both free throws good for Jordan yeah just a fruitful trip to the line he's made this a one possession game Here's Peyton. Defense right on it. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. And down it goes. Two points. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. Here's Peyton. Longley with a rebound. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Tries again. Rodman shot is good. You have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Peyton. And it's good. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're down by three. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Incredible. I mean, he found his rhythm out there tonight, and he's really let his offense come to him. He hasn't forced the issue, and because of this, it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Down low. Here's Jordan. And it's in. Here's Hawkins. Here's Peyton. Off target with a jump hook. Pass to Jordan. Yeah! Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. Timeout called the Supersonics. They trail by one. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments.
Hawkins. Pass to Peyton. Oh, there's the alley. Hammers the lob through. Big time bucket to put him in front. Now they've got to put everything into their D and come up with a big stop. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by one. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. Count it! Yeah, there was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Timeout called the Supersonics. Craziest fans. They're trailing by one. Five picks left to play in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Down one with just enough time for a couple passes and a shot. We'll see what they can do. Here's Peyton. So a close game. See Chicago taking this one. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone. Today's war plan covers the demand for the